Most apps feel fast because they juggle many things at once. But there's a crucial distinction behind the scenes, concurrency and parallelism. They sound similar, but they're not the same, and knowing the difference helps build faster, more reliable systems. Concurrency is a design approach where multiple tasks make progress during the same time period by taking turns on the CPU. Even with a single CPU core, the system can start, pause, and resume different tasks so they overlap in time. This is managed through context switching. The CPU rapidly swaps which task is active. To us, it looks like everything is moving simultaneously, but under the hood each task is getting small slices of time. Why is that useful? Concurrency shines when tasks spend time waiting, like reading files, calling APIs, or talking to databases. While one task is waiting for I.O., another task can run. Instead of wasting time during those waits, the system keeps other work moving. The result is better responsiveness and higher throughput without necessarily adding more cores. Parallelism is true, simultaneous execution. Multiple tasks run at the same time on multiple CPU cores or processors. If you split a large job into independent chunks and run those chunks side by side, you're doing parallel computing. This model excels at heavy computations, data processing, scientific simulations, image and video rendering, analytics pipelines, anything you can divide into pieces that don't need to wait on each other constantly. When to use which? If the workload is I slash O bound, lots of waiting on networks, disks, or user input, focus on concurrency first. If the workload is CPU bound, crunching numbers, transforming large data sets, focus on parallelism to leverage multiple cores. How they work together. Concurrency and parallelism are different, but they complement each other. A well-designed concurrent program manages many tasks efficiently, and when the hardware provides multiple cores, those tasks can also run in parallel. Think of it like lanes and cars. Concurrency is organizing lots of cars so traffic keeps moving. Parallelism is opening more lanes so more cars move at the same time. The best systems do both, organize the work well, and use all available lanes. Concurrency helps many tasks make progress by sharing time efficiently, even on a single core. Parallelism speeds up computation by running tasks simultaneously across multiple cores. Understand the difference, use the right tool for the job, and combine them thoughtfully to build faster, more reliable applications. Over to you. What challenges have you hit with concurrency or parallelism? Deadlocks, race conditions, thread contention, unexpected slowdowns? Share your stories and wins in the comments.